for carrying a big thing. It's really heavy and it weighs a lot and it's expensive. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we did get this really big thing in the mail. We thought DHL had lost it, but it arrived anyways. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna start with a big anticlimax and do the little box. And what do we have? Some really shitty looking power plug. And this one is pretty heavy. The box is quite beaten up, but I think we'll manage. Uh, this is a transformer. Wow. Oh, let's move on. This big bastard. I know what it is. You guys don't. So... This is what's inside the big box. Uh, just as big box. Exciting times. I guess you know what it might be from the logo. And loads of grey foam stuff. Manuals, we should keep track of where we have these. Guess it could come in handy. Black stuff. Black stuff. More black stuff. And oh, don't break it. More black stuff. We have the honeycomb table. Good stuff. And here's the machine. I think it looks pretty sexy. The lid doesn't go up. I think that's a bad thing. Or is it just, oh. Oh, it's like a really sexy hinge, that's why. And this panel is a bit popped off. I should take some pictures of how it arrived. Moving on. We have another box inside the laser cutter itself. Oh wow, it's heavy. <sighs> I need to put this. And inside of the white box, we have a shitload of white boxes. We have some tubing. Pump. Fan piping stuff. That one's a bit heavier. It's, oh, my lord. <clears throat> Don't break this expensive equipment. And this is the air compressor for the laser. Should I take it out? Sure. Should I take it out? Yes. That's the air compressor. Looks quite beasty. And then there's another large-ish white box with bubble wrap, some rings, and a rather big extraction fan. So let's put this back inside. Oh! <laughs> Uh, so this is what the machine looks like inside. There's here's the uh, laser carriage. It's all zip tied down uh, Then we have another one there. I think they might have actually test run the laser. There's some ashes on the uh, nozzle there if you look a bit closer So Good stuff. I think they run it through QC properly. I see there's a tube here that's come off, but that should be easy. I guess it might be taken off or whatever. The rest seems pretty good. Nice big touch screen. And one of these vandal safe buttons. I'm calling dibs on pulling off this plastic. Quite the solid like feel to all of it. 
doesn't feel flimsy. Looks, I think it looks pretty well engineered. I think we made a good choice here, buying an unseen, pretty much untested product. We'll get back to you when we get to test run the machine.